I am confused. Are they cheering for me? Or the area code? Hey everyone, welcome to Infinite Realms. Today, I am revealing WWE Legends Series Rey Mysterio Jr. Or Rey Mysterio, since, uh, you know, I don't think WWF ever acknowledged the junior part. Oh well. Weird, the pack thing doesn't, so hey. Alright, so yeah, there's a million and one Rey Mysterios out there right now. I do admit, uh, but you know what? I don't have any of them, and that's the fun part about being a complete, not being a completionist, is you can kind of wait and wait and see what's coming down the pipeline, and then, huzzah! That's the one I want. I got some now, and that's what I feel like with this Ray Mysterio Jr. This is a pretty all-encompassing version of the character, so. This is his ECW attire, but it's kind of, it's not one of the special attires that he wore, but it's kind of Rey Mysterio enough that it gets by. Now, of course, you know, he has this robe, which is a nice touch. I like it because you can kind of have an entrance robe with him. Or you cannot. I mean, it's entirely choose your own adventure kind of thing. And, you know, I mean, it gives you some display purpose, display variation. So that's fun. I like that. He does come with the WWE world title. This was from the time he actually possessed the world title. I don't know how I feel about this belt, though. It's, um,. It's a little dull in sheen, so doesn't quite cut it for me. I I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I, I've, I've got it in other um, iterations where it's a lot brighter. I mean, even the NWO one that Hollywood Hogan comes with is brighter. So there's that. So, Rey Mysterio, and uh, he's probably the most successful luchador ever. Um, I mean, I can't think of anybody else who, who any of the other luchadors who have gone as far as Ray. He has held the WWE world title. I mean, there you go. Now, then again, a lot of the luchadors kind of left for Mexico when, um, you know, WCW folded up. Uh, some did stay. Um, uh, some saw limited success. Some we're getting towards the end of their careers like uh, Ultimo Dragon. Ultimo Dragon was kind of towards the end of his career. So, in, and eventually he went back to Japan, I do believe. Uh, did a brief stint there and just kind of... Um, I, I believe he retired. I'm not positive. So, you know, Ray's hanging around made sense. And, you know, because of that, Ray seemed more and more unique. Eddie um, had started going less and less to the flying style he was still doing some high flying but much less than he did early in his career um he had gained some weight bulked up a little bit not 100 percent totally bulked up but definitely um a change in eddie from the wcw days so as ray became more and more unique then of course he stuck out more started to gain notice and finally obtained the world title. He had a couple of tag team runs within that too, which were pretty good. Um, of course, he had the mid-card uh, titles as well. Those were all really good. And Ray is still going. I mean, that, that's the big surprising part is Ray is still active. Uh, he's uh, in a storyline with his son now, who uh, finally admits that he was his dad. But yeah, beside the point. Beside the point, we've seen the memes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I think it's funny you can call do a callback to a 20 year old uh, storyline like that just just like that it's just wow okay uh, I've not actually watched Dominic Russell I heard he's terrible um, I heard Ray carries him the whole match I don't know that for sure though 
I mean, I'm not going to say that's what happens, but people have told me that. Uh, but again, this version of Ray is kind of like the version of Ray I kind of gravitate towards. It's uh, sort of the apex of his career, and I really like him. I mean, he, this is uh, the simple Ray that, you know, would show up in a couple of special gears every now and again, but most of the time kept the scent kept a simple gear on and you know again he would pop up in those special gears once in a while and you know they were usually one off so he, did, he didn't wear them very much after the initial time he wore it um, and and that can be kind of fun um, it can be kind of rep rep repetitive too um, I, I believe in one of the ones that are, that's out now they call him the Mohawk Ray and I'm like okay yeah I, I see what you mean and I was never a fan of that um, the detail work on the figure looks great. Uh, looks like uh, the tattoos that Ray has um, at that time. And, you know, of course the figure is very poseable. It can do a lot. So, yeah, I'm perfectly fine with this Ray Mysterio. So, where's my rating on him? I will go four stars. Um, really good one. I can see some points to improve, but... You know, I'm not going to get too antsy about that. I mean, there's a lot of reuse here, too. And I also think that Ray might be a little tall. <laughs> Believe it or not, I think I think it's possible he could be. And uh, so that might be a bit of a problem, too. Um, well, there you see him with the acolytes. I mean, you know, I just think he's a little tall. Then he taller than he should be. That's just, That's just me. But anyway... So, that'll wrap it up. I mean, this is a, almost a full wave. Um, nothing against Molly Holly. I She just, her character never entertained me. So, I have absolutely no interest in her figure. I almost bought her just to have her with uh, Hurricane Helms. But then I said, no. No, I don't want to go down that road. I mean, you know, it's, it's like, you know, I want to be selective in who I grab and why. So, I uh, I put her back and said nah I'm not gonna do that and just let it be so what are your thoughts on Rey Mysterio I know he's been done too many times in the line but this just this specific Rey Mysterio I mean let, let's just say he's been the first one in a while what would you think all right leave me let me know in the comments okay that's it for infinite realms don't forget to like and subscribe